Hey legends, I just want to jump on and talk about potentially what led me to being a lifeguard and, and it's very linked to my passion now. So for you guys who follow me, you'll know that I'm a breathwork coach, personal trainer, yoga teacher. I do lots of health related thing, but I'm particularly passionate about breathwork coaching and improving people's functional breathing. Now there's a reason for this. I'm an asthmatic. Um, I've worked with asthmatics. Um, I no longer, I haven't had an asthma attack for as long as I can remember. And I've implemented various things to, to improve this. But one of the key ones is, is improving my functional breathing. Um, so yeah, hospitalized with asthma multiple times when I was um, eight or nine. And from then I very much connected the way I breathed and all the regular regularity of my breathing um, from swimming training. So when you're running, you can, you can breathe continuously, nonstop huffing and puffing. But when you're swimming, it teaches you to one, two, three, breathe, two. And it teaches you to breathe like that. So this regulation, this slowing down of the breath is really beneficial for asthmatics. Um, and for me, I, I'm almost grateful for this asthma because it kept me swimming through my youth, I competed, I made friends, I, I traveled around Australia, I surfed life saving, um, and, it, and it gave me this love of the ocean, which I still have to this day, and I still love to, to rescue people, um, lifeguarding, and you know, I could go off and talk about how people lose control of their breath when I'm rescuing them. But let's just sort of focus on the functional breathing and that relationship between swimming and, and my you know, as I look back at my youth struggling to maintain concentration at school, I'm sure that I was a dysfunctional breather and, and I was because I was an asthmatic. So one of the ways that I work with it and the whole point of this video, and, and one of the things has been a game changer for me in the last couple of years, is taping my mouth shut at night. So I've got some tape here I'm just going to go through the, the two options. Now, this is some of the stuff I teach or we teach in my Power of the Breath courses. And it's it's really simple, yet really effective. So this is some 3M Micropore tape. And this is what I used to use um, for gentlemen, uh, people with beards. This is still what I recommend. So you can tape, tape the edges over and you put it like this. And at night, now if this, definitely we don't do this with kids. We don't mouth tape kids at night. Um, if this causes you stress, then I'll, I'll go to option B next. And this is my preferred option, but this is more of the budget option or, um, yeah, this is what I used to use. So at night before bed, I would try and do everything and then I would And you can see that uh, if when I opened my mouth then, it, it opened up. So it wasn't forcefully closed. It's not like I was wrapping duct, duct tape around my head. This tape just encourages my lips to stay together and this encourages nasal breathing. Now nasal breathing or improving nasal breathing function is linked to so many things. And just quickly, if we breathe better, we recover better. We're less likely to get injured and we're less likely to get sick. So there's some key things, but if you are training hard, you want to recover, you want to get into deep sleep. If you get into deep sleep, you're less likely to need to wake up and go to the toilet, more likely to be refreshed. This leads, um, in my opinion, to people um, more likely getting up to exercise, more likely waking up, not feeling sluggish. And you know, if you're waking up, you're feeling better, you're less likely to go for sugary foods or coffee and um, exercise, it can potentially change your whole day. So yeah, this is what I used to use. Now you, you guys may have seen me posting stuff. So this is this is the sleep tape, the Myo tape that I sell on my website. It comes in a pack of 90 and it's $35. So if you're using it every two or three nights, it's gonna potentially last the best part of a year. So I was just using this stuff and I'm like, I don't need this stuff. And the only reason I tried it is because I put it on my son. And there's an old video which I'll share of Angus um, where we did some mouth taping and it only took a couple of nights to correct, correct Angus to get him back from, he, he had a cold for a couple of weeks 
and he was mouth breathing at night. He wasn't getting better. Um, we did some stuff. I had some stuff to open his airways, get him, try and open up those airways and use this tape. Now I've got a little bit of moisturizer on, so hopefully it sticks. But what this tape does, it encourages the lips to stay together, um, but you can still open your mouth. So far less stressful. So I'm pulling it, it's slightly elastic. Just gotta hold it on for a couple of seconds. And this, there's a little bit of pressure there. I can actually feel it just bringing my lips together. And um, yeah, far less stressful for anyone with stress or anxiety wearing this stuff uh, will, will, for taping their lips. This is such a better option. Oh, let me take it off. Um, yeah, so that's how I sleep still uh, one or two nights a week now. Um, I can tell if I'm mouth breathing at night. Um, James Nestor's book, uh, Breath and New Science of the Lost Art, really fascinating for anyone uh, super interested in this or for those who want to delve further into it. I do teach Patrick McEwan's work for the Oxygen Advantage, which I'm a huge fan of the functional breathing stuff. I teach that as a part of my courses to, to corporate and, and private clients and um, also using some of Wim Hof tech's techniques as well in, in the ice bath. I love um, mixing and sharing. But yeah, functional breathing, improving your nasal breathing at night changes lives for some. Um, for others, you, you may not notice as much of a difference. But for me, this is literally a game changer. I get asked to talk about this all the time. So here it is in one video. Um, you can access the why and the how and um, it'll save me sort of trying to put this in text messages and, and share it with people. So yeah guys, please share it with a friend. Um, oh, sleep apnea. That's, you know, sleep apnea is a huge undiagnosed problem in society, but there's more and more people aware of it. So um, sleep apnea is when people literally holding their breath and choking. Um, for minutes at a time at night. And this puts severe stress on the heart. There has been studies linking uh, sleep apnea towards an increase of heart disease or, or death where, where people with heart disease are more likely to be dysfunctional breathers. So improving your breathing pattern um, could potentially save your life. But yes, if you are aware, if you're interested, I do sell this stuff. I recommend all my breathwork clients. We try it, see if it helps for them. I assess them before and after. And yeah, that's how, that's how we can tell if something's helping. All right, guys, reach out if you have any questions. I do love talking about this stuff. Um, if you do want to order the sleep tape, it is on my website. If you want to go old school, if, if you've got a beard, you can get this stuff from the chemist. This is about four bucks.